The Synod is a huge win for openness. At the start, Pope Francis urged participants to speak their mind, and did they ever. The Catholic Church leader spoke of some of the most controversial issues of the times. The final report testifies to the greatness of Catholic Church teaching and leaves for another day questions about gay Catholics and divorced or remarried couples. I asked Brooklyn's Father John Cush, is the outcome a disappointment for rank-and-file Catholics? Well, this was something that I was very worried about. Um, because I really thought that people would, would feel that, th because honestly, and this I'm certainly not blaming the secular media for this, but the way people were making out uh, the synod, it was supposed to be like this Vatican III, but that's never what it was ever going to be. It was not intended to be that, nor was it ever intended to come up with all these things that were going to change the, the doctrine of the church going to change the uh, pastoral practice of the church. That's not what it was about, ever. So uh, the rank-and-file Catholic that's generally going to church, generally active in the life of their parish, uh, generally faithful to the teachings of the church, I don't think that uh, they're going to be disappointed. People that may uh, feel marginalized, uh, that didn't necessarily um, understand what this particular 2014 Synod was about, they might themselves have wanted more concrete answers, but with the help of God and the 2015 Synod, more specifically pastoral questions uh, in light of the preparatory documents that had been released uh, here, um, that will be addressed. So we left, we affirmed tradition, but we left the controversial questions open. Are we back at square one in your opinion? That's a great question, because honestly, um, this Synod was not intended to address specific pastoral issues. That's really for the next Extraordinary Synod, which will take place at this time next year, in 2015. So I'm not one bit surprised that we, uh, that we didn't have specific guidelines on dealing, for instance, with uh, communion to people who are divorced and remarried without benefit of annulment, or specific guidelines about ministry to persons of same-sex orientation. That really wasn't what this was about. It was just an attempt on the part of the Holy Father, on a, uh, on the, an attempt on the part of the Synod Fathers, to get the different issues out there, to know where we're going, and just to reaffirm the consistent teachings of the Church. So I don't think we're back to square one. I think dialogue has taken place. I think that we actually have um, things out in the open, uh, and issues are now going to be able to be more fully discussed in the future. And Father, do you think um, this lack of decision-making um, do you think it'll hurt the Catholic reputation in an increasingly secular world? And does it matter what non-Catholics think of the way we govern ourselves? Again, a great question. Will it hurt the reputation that the Church has? I can't see how it could. We've remained faithful to the consistent teaching of our Church. We've, from, from Scripture and tradition on, Cardinal Pell, I believe, uh, not to, uh, to misquote him, but to paraphrase a little bit, had the greatest line, I think, of the Synod. I'll stick with Jesus on this issue. I mean, he's following what, uh, he's re reaffirming what the Lord taught on, a, on an issue uh, in sacred scripture. So as to, I, I don't think that the world would, would necessarily expect the Catholic Church, for instance, all of a sudden over a two-week meeting to say, for instance, we're going to approve of uh, same-sex marriages and start officiating at these at same-sex marriages in the, in the Catholic Church as a quasi-sacramental. That's, that's not what was ever going to happen. And we should be concerned about what, uh, what the outside world thinks of us, but we should also be consistent with our teaching. We should be able to dialogue, be ourselves, dialogue with, the, uh, uh, with others in the, in the Church, but we shouldn't necessarily bow to the whim of the times. So we didn't come to a conclusion on the controversial topics, but what were some concrete things that came out of this final report? I think the co most concrete thing that came out of the final report was the transparency. We knew, as best as we could, what was going on in the Synod discussions. You know, people sitting at home, people in the social media, people uh, through uh, your reporting here at NET, people knew what the discussions were. They also knew how things were voted upon. Now, that's not necessarily how most synods are, are undertaken. Usually, it's cardinals, bishops, making speeches on various topics. But this was something that the Holy Father and the Synod uh, Council of, of Cardinals uh, really wanted everyone to know. Pope Francis says he's confident that the intervening 12 months will allow ideas to mature and to find concrete solutions to the many challenges facing the church. 
Reporting for Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.